Hello, this is Tim from Vintage RC Garage. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Tamiya Lunchbox Kit number 5863. This will be the first of a three-part series that will explore the Lunchbox for many facets. The Lunchbox is a 112th scale kit and features a two-wheel drive chassis. It was one of the few 112th scale off-road kits made in the top 100. The other 112th scale kits included the XR311, Lamborghini Cheetah, and Midnight Pumpkin. The Lunchbox was released in June of 1987 and was no longer sold after 1995. Tamiya produced 55 off-road buggies in the top 100 and the lunchbox was the 31st. The lunchbox was the original kit that was considered the CW01 chassis line, however the CW01 designation was not recognized by Tamiya until after the lunchbox re-release kit was produced. The Midnight Pumpkin is the only other top 100 kit based off the CW01 chassis, but there were multiple re-releases that were based off this chassis. I don't know about you, but I just love the smell of opening up a 30-year-old RC box and getting a whiff of the plastic and tire smell, but that's just me. The kit includes four identical monster truck tires. I'm amazed at how soft they still are considering this is a 30-year-old kit. The C parts tree includes everything chrome plated. The front grille and bumper, rear bumper, nerf bars, front and rear shocks, and side body mounts. These shiny shock shafts and body mounts are a unique touch to the lunchbox. The side body attachment stop clip is also unique. The lunchbox is classified as an off-road kit, but due to its high center of gravity and wheelie prone chassis, it's barely stable to bash on flat surfaces. So using it off-road is more of an idea than a reality. Even though you won't be taking the lunchbox to the track anytime soon, there is certainly a passionate following. The detailed Dodge van body is highly customizable and the Trickster chassis certainly keeps operators entertained. Personally, I can't look at the lunchbox and not think about the Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine van, which there are many recreations seen online. The CW01 chassis line has been described as a cross between a Mitsubishi Pajero and a Grasshopper because it shares some major components. The lunchbox has the Grasshopper gearbox and shocks while it is based off the upright chassis of the Pajero. Because of these inherited characteristics, the lunchbox is easy to build and is also very durable. Due to the availability of the re-releases, replacement parts are plentiful and easy to find, which is great news for people who love to push it to its limits. The front and rear suspension is different on the lunchbox. The front uses a swing axle with coil springs, while the rear uses a rigid axle with coil springs. All four dampers are friction dampers. The B parts tree includes the grasshopper gearbox, motor mount, and rear tire mount. The S parts tree and A parts tree come wrapped together. The S tree includes the servo savers and horns, and the A tree includes servo mounts, front suspension arms, speed controller mount, and wheelie bar nuts. The A tree is identical to both the Bajero and the Grasshopper. The four rims come in bright yellow, and the front and rear are different since it's two wheel drive. The rears are fitted to accommodate the drive shaft output. The D parts tree contains many of the large plastic pieces. These include the motor gearbox mount, suspension mounts, front and rear shock ends, side guard, and skid plate. The manual is a standard Tamiya version provided with English titles with Japanese and other language subtitles. It uses monochrome print with occasional blue highlights throughout. The decals complete the story for the lunchbox persona. Big tires, fun character drawings, Vanessa promoting her meals on wheels all the way down to the phone number. The blister pack comes in the lid of the parts box. The blister pack includes the rear shafts, resistor, uprights, mechanical speed controller, the 540 can motor, and a box wrench. The e-parts tree houses the clear plastic parts and includes the windshield, sunroof, and headlights. The d-screw bag contains plastic bearings, wheel lock nuts, 6mm pipes, and 10mm rear tire shafts. The rod bag includes four coil springs, two axle springs, tie rods, speed control rod, and white tie rod ends. The primary screw bag is the A bag and it contains 3mm machine screws in 6, 10, 15, and 30mm lengths. It also includes 3mm nuts, flange nuts, and washers. The B bag contains 3mm tapping screws in 8, 12, and 21mm lengths, hexagonal mount, and step screws. The C screw bag is light on pieces but includes 2x6mm machine screws, 2.6x10mm tapping screws, as well as 14mm shafts, differential shafts, 3mm grub screws, and 2mm nuts. The gear bag, yep, you guessed it, large bevel gear, small bevel gear, and differential gear. The front bumper is shared with the Pajero. The press parts bag includes the resistor plate, spring mounts, resistor cover, 95mm damper shafts, and the infamous wheelie bar. The miscellaneous metal parts bag includes 5.5mm spacers, 30mm shaft, 
4 and 5 millimeter ball connectors and screw pins. Last but not least, the tool bag contains the switch lubricant, grease, counter gear, pinion gear, metal bearings, body clips, allen key, tape, rubber bands, and tubing. Thanks for watching my unboxing of the Tamiya Lunchbox. Stay tuned for my next video in the Lunchbox series where we'll be doing a detailed comparison of the Lunchbox and its re-release. If you have a request for my next unboxing, visit my blog collection page at VintageRCGarage.com and send me a note. See you next time.